Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video, we're going to take a look at which Legends Limited units you can get on your 100 Collect Play Legends Limited tickets. So we'll discuss a little bit about how it works and then also obviously discuss exactly which Legends Limited characters you can get on the tickets. So how the banner works is pretty straightforward. You get the tickets or on the missions, once you have 100, you can perform step 1, and once you have another 100, you can perform step 2, for a total of 200. The units that are on the first step are different to the units that are on the second step, but only with the very last summon. Summons 98, 99, and 100 of the 100 summons are guaranteed to be Legends Limited characters. You cannot earn Legends Limited characters outside of those slots, so you can only get 3 per 100 and 3 per the other 100. A lot of people say, oh, I got 4. They're lying. It's not possible. So in terms of the summon situation, it's pretty straightforward. 98, 99, and 100 are different steps of that 100 summon and feature different pools of Legends Limited units that you can pull from. For example, in the 98 slot pool, the blue well, the yellow, blue Gogeta is a pretty cool pull. Here, generally, I would say a lot of these are mainly units that you're going to have to Zenkai. Whereas slot 99 has some Zenkai units for sure, but also has some units that have yet to Zenkai that maybe aren't so useful or are useful, depending on your situation. This is also where you'll find Broly, who is one of the few Legends Limited characters that is going to Zenkai guaranteed this celebration. So we know already about Broly Zenkai. It's likely we'll get another Legends of Zenkai. But we do know about Broly's. And then on step one, in this summon, your highlights is probably B Skohan. But all of these or the majority of these are all current or fairly current LFs. Some of them have Zenkai, but a lot of those were recent Zenkai's. So a lot of these units are either very good in competitive pvp or are still on the fringes of competitive pvp for the most part if you look at step two things don't change in step two for the 98th and 99th positions so the roster of units stays exactly the same there's no change no difference no nothing so it all remains the same all really honestly pretty straightforward However, the 100th slot, so the last slot, has five new additions, or four new additions, those being the Revive MUI Goku, the SS4 Goku and Vegeta, the Android 17, and also the MUI Goku. All of these units are good pickups. Oh, sorry, the yellow Trunks and Vegeta, not MUI Goku. All of these units are good pickups. All of them are solid in PvP. I will say the Android 17 is still probably the pick of the bunch, being the best one out of all of them, at least on a Universe Reps team. But the other three aren't bad. They are also all the most current Legends Limited, Garant or Legends Limited characters you'll get on any of the summon tickets during the course of the celebration. So basically, they are your best shot at the most current LF and Android 17 is definitely the best one, at least by my perspective. So that's it. That is how it works, and that is how the roster of units works. If you have any questions or queries about the summon, you can let me know down below. But generally speaking, this is exactly how it works, and kind of a little bit of information which I think are some good summons. No LF is a bad LF. Uh, even Zenkais, they always all give really good Zenkai boosts. So even if you're just working towards one of those, it's all good stuff. And like I said, all the slots outside of the 98th, 99th, and 100th have you a pretty roster of sparking units, but just that. So a pretty good roster of sparking units, but nothing crazy. That's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, take care and bye.